Zingerman's Bakehouse all began with one customer, eight bakers, and five bread recipes. Can you believe it? That evolved into a flourishing business carrying on the mission of serving up delicious food and enriching culture. Mm, Zingerman's Bakehouse in Ann Arbor, Michigan has released a brand new cookbook. It combines some of their favorite year-round recipes in a vibrant and visually rich cookbook for festive occasions, both big and small. And good thing for us, all of it's in time for fall. I mean, when the temperatures drop, eventually. <laughs> exactly. Joining us this morning, there you, there she is, mm -hmm. uh, to show us a few recipes and help us eat delicious food and is delicious food. the author, Lindsay Jean Hard. Welcome to New York Living. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Oh, Not more exci excited than no, us. We're, more, we're the most excited. We've been talking about this since Monday, so yes, we're, no, no pressure. No first pressure. Of okay. all, <laughs> first of all, you, you made the trip. Yes. How did the team come up with the recipes that are yeah. now in this cookbook? Well, it really was a team effort. Um, these are all recipes from Zingerman's. The vast mm -hmm. majority are Zingerman's Bakehouse recipes, um, but there are a couple of recipes from the other Zingerman's businesses mm -hmm. too, like the cheese that we will be trying mm. later on mm -hmm. today. And we really, we sat down and came up with a list of holidays and recipes that we thought would go along well with them That's and just perfect. negotiated. What a great job. That's a fantastic job. What a great job. job. It is. Who was customer number one? Because we, we, in the intro we said there was one customer and eight five, bake, five bakers and this and that. Who was, who was customer, customer one? number one? was Zingerman's Deli, the original Zingerman's business, which opened in 1982. And they are actually coming to visit New York this weekend, too. Look at that. Zingerman's is taking over. It's a Zing for us. Zingerman's takes the big apple. I love it. I love the, the apron that matches the book. Can we, right. should, we, should we get into I this? I feel like it's appropriate. To we have a few this. recipes. There's three. Let's start with the first two before we get, start you know, have to work to, exactly. to make yes. the food. Uh, bacon pimento cheese. Yes, so this one is a great one for the fall, for tailgating, to go along Heck with the yeah. pretzels that we're going to be making. Okay. This one is from Zingerman's Creamery, Okay. Um, mm -hmm. but of course the recipe is in the book, so you can make it at home and uses cheddar cheese and some delicious Nooskis bacon from Wisconsin. Nooskis? Mm -hmm. okay. And, and okay. do we dip these in here? Yeah. Can okay. we Can we give it a Let's little... Let's go, Mari, here. I'll give you a little schmear. I like this. I like the idea of this for a tailgate. Mm -hmm. yeah, I like the idea for this... Lots of folks are having like Halloween parties or yes. fall, fall stuff. You put this out here with a little mm -hmm. whatever you want to drink and, and be done with it. I, I really like it on I an love egg sandwich too. too. Oh my God. Breakfast. That's amazing. Oh my God, that's delicious. Mm. Mm. What's this happen? What's happening over here? So this one is the banana bread. Mm -hmm. This one is a particular favorite of mine because it uses the whole banana, peel and all. Oh, ah, what? Sorry, Peel and all, um, so it reduces food waste at the same time. Thank you. And you would never know from tasting it. You would just think that it has a really intense banana flavor, and that is thanks to the peel. Now, you be the judge of that. I'm still chewing. I'm happy to do quality control. This is a, uh, I, I get into this intellectual argument with folks over oh, bananas. Wow. I like to buy the bananas when they are within an inch of their lives. Because they're sweeter, correct? They easier, are. Easier to make a banana bread. They absolutely okay. are. Well, if you're going to bake with them, absolutely. But I'm not going to bring you a one? banana oh, that's black you. if you're thank just you. going to eat it. Thank you. Okay. we got to move right along. Pretzels. Okay. What, okay. Now we're going to be working. More make. I'm going to move out of everybody's way. Oh, my here. poor pimento cheese. I'll put this under here. Okay. Pretzels. How do we do this? First, you gotta, I know you got to throw the flour down first. Yes. So we made it's the like dough. Pizza. Oh, you and made the dough. There's flour and salt and yeast and a little bit of fat in there. Uh, Zingerman's Bakehouse uses lard. Very good. Okay. But you could also be using butter if you're a vegetarian. Okay. They like lard See in the how Midwest. She does this so nice. And you're just gonna get a little bit just of little... flour on your hands. Oh, okay. We're gone. And go. then you're gonna you're gonna grab your lump of dough. Here you go. Flour those hands, flour your paws. It's like chalking up at the gym. Just this little piece. Yeah, you don't really need that much, actually. Oh, right, let me throw some. Throw some. And you don't want too much on your surface because you want to be able to have it stick. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> I think I put too much. Okay. okay. No, you're perfect. Okay. And you're just going to start stretching it out a little bit. Oh, that's nice. And then you're going to roll. And the, it's okay for the middle to stay a little thicker. And then you're gonna taper it towards the end. And normally, if you're making it at home right now, 
you would let it hang out at this point for a second. Okay. And just let it rest and get used to its new shape that you're doing. And then you'd come back to it and really? you'd keep rolling it. So ideally, we're gonna get it to be about 18 to 24 inches oh, long. She's done this That's once or twice. It, I've never seen her work than... this hard in my entire life. Wow, look at you. Look at you. It looks beautiful, it's happening. Should it be big in the middle? Just you want it to be thicker in the middle. A little bit thicker in the middle. That's gonna be the belly that you see right there. Oh, okay. I and so it's a thicker in the middle. <laughs> this is great. And how, how and long does this take in earnest? Cause you gotta go away, let it adapt, come back. It's a couple cathartic. hour process, yeah. but oh it's a God. really easy process. Yes. Cause you're making the dough, you're rolling these, you're gonna let them sit. Okay. Then you're gonna put them in a lye bath or a baking soda, baking soda and water bath to okay. help give them their color. And then you're gonna bake them. Okay, now we twist. So once you have it long enough, you're gonna make a U shape. And then you're gonna cross over once. Okay. And That's then you're gonna cross it a second time. So like it's a little thing. Yeah, and then you're gonna just bring those ends down. Oh, well, mine's thick, thick. And so press it not. in, and then stretch it out a little bit. It's like my geometric brain just went. Oh my God, I wasn't <laughs> sure where we were going in the beginning. Neither. Look how much prettier hers is than ours. Oh, she's the professional. Actually, I can, I'm gonna speak for myself. We are yours neophytes. Looks nice too. No, mine I think not. those look like they're gonna be delicious too. And then you just pop this in the oven. Good job. It's gonna hang out for a little bit. Oh, it has to hang out some more. And then the lye bath, and then you're gonna pop. When do you salt them? Oh. Um, you salt them after the lye bath, before they go in the before oven. Before in the oven. Holy mm -hmm. smokes. And there this it is, is the finished product. That's the finished product. Fantastic. Amazing. This has been very enlightening and delicious. Thank you for visiting us here in the Big Apple. Thank, thank you Jean, again. Thank you. Yeah. I love it. And here's the book, by the way. Grab your coffee, copy, and your oh, coffee. Oh, your coffee and your coffee. Of Zingerman's <laughs> Bakehouse. Celebrate every day. Cookbooks available now wherever you buy your books. That's a great looking cover. It sure is. I love it.